You should view this video first because it will explain the 1968 Kennedy half dollar in more detail before you sell your 1968 Kennedy dollar. You might not find it intriguing that this coin was produced at both the Denver Mint and the San Francisco Mint. Let's just jump straight into this movie S first for a little bit of historical context, but there are some specific things to note about it. These Kennedy half dollars in the US have no mint mark whatsoever between 1965 and 1967. When the Kennedy half dollar was issued in 1968 with a D-mint stamp, this situation altered. Difficulties with the mint mark this year, such as the estimation mark that was inadvertently placed upside down. There aren't many of these left, but the ones that do survive are now very expensive. Additionally, certain D-mint markings include small RE punches that are worth keeping an eye out for. There are also some triple die obverses where the writing is tripled primarily on the words we and trust. Let's now examine the coin in more detail. The year 1968 is displayed at the bottom of the front behind the word Liberty. Kennedy's name is below the mint mark and to the left and right respectively are the words in God and we trust. Interesting stuff to the date's thick eight should be noted because it stands out from the other numerals. Now, the image of the United States of America around the top of the coin with an eagle holding an olive branch and arrows in its talents has remained constant across time, and the words half dollar are at the bottom. A mint state 68 coin is worth a stunning $15,000 but the value decreases noticeably in lower grades, which is essentially how the coin is graded. Recall that the highest grade currently is a 70. There were 247 million Kennedy half dollars created in total in 1968 at the Denver Mint. No coins were made at the Philadelphia Mint. Also remember that the San Francisco Mint produced 3 million proof half dollar coins, all of which bear the S Mint symbol. Now, the coin you are looking at on the computer might look nice, but you could actually get it online for a few bucks. This is a copy, as you can see over there on the left. There are fake coins out there, so you should be cautious. You do not want to be taken advantage of or scammed. The hue of this coin is just insane. This oxidation process, which collectors refer to as tone, does occur in nature. This can either be a good thing or a negative thing, depending on where you keep your coin. Thing. $4,920 was paid for this coin. This coin was evaluated by PC Jazz and received the top grade of 70. This hardly ever occurs because it's extremely challenging to achieve that high of a grade, as evidenced by the projected mark for the San Francisco Mint down below. Distinguished guests, the price of this coin was $21,600. Our Coin and Amp Currency Mastermind program is now available if you want to ensure that you never again doubt the worth of your coins or bills. To find out more, click the video link on the current screen. We'll see you inside after you proceed. It's interesting to note that some, 